it's no secret that healthcare coverage in the Philippines is far from sufficient and that the industry in general is ripe for disruption. Well, one such startup saw these problems from the outside and has come in to try to solve it. Let me bring in Vincent Lau. He's Maria Health's co-founder, rather, founder and CEO. Founder and CEO. Let me just clarify that. Vincent, good to have you in the show. Welcome. Yeah. So Maria Health is an online marketplace for health insurance policies in the Philippines. But the first thing I want to note here is that you're not from the Philippines. How did you come about <laughs> doing this? Uh, so very interesting story how Maria came about. Uh, but uh, I started uh, Maria Health about a year and a half, two years ago. And after leaving a VC-backed startup uh, funded by Jim Clark, founder of Netscape, uh, I really wanted to solve a real problem. And so I was very lucky to have friends from college that were also starting companies changing lives uh, in the Philippines. And so, uh, but the journey didn't happen in two years, right? I've actually been coming here to the Philippines since 2008. So it's really been a decade-long decade -long process of, you know, every story of every entrepreneur trying to find a real problem, a meaningful problem we're solving. And so it's, it's really been uh, having good friends here that left jobs in Silicon Valley, uh, leaving jobs at Google uh, to start companies and make high impacts. So your friends are also in the startup industry, yes. and you come here, you get a better sense of the lay of the land, what problems you need to solve. At what point did you decide to hone in on healthcare? Yeah, so um, we decided to really hone in on healthcare. I think a lot of it was, I was inspired by my wife. Uh, she was doing her master's uh, program, uh, and ultimately I think in healthcare you can really start to save lives and impact uh, people in a very uh, uh, um, Im impactful way. And I think for us, it was really, uh, after talking to hundreds of customers, we realized there was a big problem, right? Um, I remember very early on, I was in Silicon Valley. I had my uh, Skype on, and I was calling companies uh, in the Philippines. And what we realized along the way was uh, there, people wanted to shop and compare. People needed the, the services that they need to make a decision on something as complex as healthcare. And I think after talking to hundreds of companies, we realized, like, wow. The market we need a marketplace and so uh, that's how Maria all started and and you're actually working off of base premise of the Philippines is of course they really underinsured when it comes to health coverage in fact by your estimates only five percent of the hundred million population have health coverage I guess that's not a huge surprise to us how exactly does your platform help try to solve this yeah so how Maria attempts to solve uh, the underinsured gap in the Philippines is through technology right so the reason why the problem exists is quite simple. If you're a small five-person company, it's actually very difficult for traditional brokers and agents uh, to sell to a five-person company, right? And then on the provider side, it's obviously a, a, a lot of work and effort to uh, close that gap, right? Um, so for what, for what Maria does, how we solve this problem is by one, creating a marketplace uh, where consumers, small businesses can shop and compare through the marketplace. And on the other side, we actually we operate a two-sided marketplace. So on the provider side, we are creating a technology platform that enables them to essentially grow their business, uh, capture more SMEs or individuals seeking healthcare. And so that's how Maria works, right? We built a technology platform that connects uh, two sides in the marketplace and make, making an inefficient market more efficient. So it sounds like you're really targeting SMEs. Mm -hmm. um, you're really seeing that gap in the market there. Give us a sense of how difficult it is to get people on board. Um, I'd say that um, to give you a sense of, even for Maria, as a technology uh, company, um, I'd say typically it takes about 55 days uh, from a time an SME is looking for health insurance to actually booking and enrolling in a health plan. So you can imagine just the process of 55 days, how difficult it is for traditional intermediaries to be able to close that gap. With not this is technology. the current process you're talking about? This is the current process today. So for Maria, we've condensed that down to, for the consumers, they can shop and compare. They have all the real-time support that they need. Uh, but even then, it still takes about 55 days right, to close. So that's the effort right, that a traditional broker and agent would have to go through. And luckily, we have technology that facilitates that process uh, so that we can do this um, uh, in a more efficient manner. And anyone at this stage can jump on your platform and sign up for a package at this stage. Yes. So the vision of Maria and the mission of Maria is that uh, anyone that wants healthcare in the Philippines, uh, we should be able to service and support them. So we do have a variety of products uh, for SMEs, uh, as well as individuals, uh, families, as well as OFWs. So um, for those of you that are watching on the show, definitely check us out on uh, Maria Health. If I were interested in purchasing a healthcare plan, 
Uh, would I have to purchase a complete package or is there room to, uh, to pick and choose what I want, a bite-sized offering, so to speak, uh, customizing it to my own needs? Um, yeah, so with Bria, we do have uh, a very flexible options. Uh, so we do have a product, it's called prepaid uh, health cards, so very similar to prepaid load. Uh, you can easily pick and choose, so maybe for you, you really care about an annual physical exam. So we do have options. Maybe I only for... care about dental, not the rest of my body. Exactly. <laughs> so um, I know in the Philippines, things are very sachet. So we do have sachet products where if you just care about certain things, uh, those options are available and people can literally just pick and choose. Uh, select the type, type of coverage they're interested in and we'll directly ship the plans to the doorstep. Does this kind of customi customization make it more expensive or not necessarily? Not necessarily. I think for us it's really about um, empowering our customers and really building a recommendation engine or a service that can match them with the right plans. Right. And how many uh, subscribers and partner health maintenance organizations do you have right now? Yeah, so on the partnership side uh, or on the provider side, um, we've essentially, uh, we have all the top providers, top brands in the Philippines on the marketplace. We're continuing to add more and more providers uh, to provide better products and services for our customers. Uh, on the consumer side, um, for the SMEs, we've uh, insured or covered over uh, 1,400 members to a health plan. And we have another for the prepaid uh, segment. Uh, if you add that in, we're looking at about 2,000 members. All. Uh, covered, insured through the Maria platform and service. 1,400 subscribers at this stage. Is there an end goal for Is there a target uh, magic number in your head? So our work doesn't stop at 1,400. <laughs> um, we have a very ambitious goal. Uh, that's an internal goal of the company, and that's a million lives. Let me ask you something I ask all the startup founders who come through here. How are you funded at this stage, and what's the plan for monetization? So uh, in terms of monetization, it's quite simple. Uh, for the health plan providers, uh, they pay us on a performance basis. When we actually enroll and service a client, uh, that's when we get paid. So very much a commission or transaction revenue off the uh, sales platform. Performance basis meaning per customer basis? Yeah. So okay. every time we enroll an SME or we renew an SME, a small business, uh, we, get, uh, we earn a transaction fee. And the same thing for the prepaid cards. When we sell a card, we get a transaction fee. So it's a win-win proposition for uh, the consumers. It's a win-win proposition for our uh, health plan providers. Um, and so that's our monetization model. In terms of fundraising, uh, I'm gonna, I think we'll, we'll do a proper announcement on our, who our investors are. But we did raise a uh, say significant uh, fund, um, uh, fund amount. And uh, when we do the, do the uh, proper announcement, you'll be the first to know. In other words, it sounds like something's cooking in the background. Exactly. We're going to have to leave it there. Vincent Lau, founder and CEO of Maria Health, thanks very much for your time today. Thank you for, thank you for everything. We're going to pause for another one last short break. I should say it's still to come. An interview with former Senate President and martial law activist Nene Pimentel, who's calling for more transparency in the negotiations with the Marcus family. Stay with us.